I survived 100 days as a time traveler in hardcore Minecraft. Every 10 days that goes by, I am teleported to a new time in the world. I started this entire journey in the caveman era. I then moved to the Stone Age, Egyptian, Medieval, all the way until the end, where my goal is to defeat the Ender Dragon. Will I survive long enough to beat the dragon? Stay tuned to find out. Also, we are so close to 2 million subscribers. Help me get there by simply clicking the subscribe button. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. And I just landed in the caveman era. And what is that? Let's leave my time travel spaceship. And wow, that is a really big woolly mammoth. And everything here just seems so much bigger. But let's grab some blocks so I can bridge over to this giant tree and grab some wood to make some basic tools. Now let's go find some stone so I can upgrade these tools. Ooh, I do see a little cave right there. Let's go check it out. Oh my God. There's a lot of mobs over there. Oh, is this another cave right here? Let's quickly run in here. Please don't have any mobs. Oh. Oh, we're infested. Okay, let's run up here and dig a little hole so I can hide and block myself in. All right, I'm going to stick around until day two. Okay, I ended up getting some cobblestone. And in this cave, there's a little campfire, which would be really helpful to cook some food. But let's upgrade my pickaxe and let's make an axe. There's not much over here in the caveman area. I don't see any ores. I just got focused on getting as much wood as possible and getting prepared for the next area I'm going to be teleported to. So let's head up and collect some more wood from these trees and explore the land and the sun is setting again so let's be a scaredy cat and hide in the mountains it's day three and there's no food anywhere or animals the only thing around here is that big woolly mammoth that i lost how did i lose something so big where is it i do see some pieces of grass up there floating in the sky i might have to try to get that to make a farm oh no okay i'm gonna kill these zombies and try to eat the rotten flesh at least i can eat something all right finally made it to the top and let's try to get lucky and win ourselves some seeds come on please one piece of seed please no maybe one of these leaves would drop me an apple if i mine it so let's jump down to these vines oh 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 all those mobs see me okay go 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 oh, okay there's a lot of grass over there but there's a lot of mobs in there okay let's go please don't shoot me skeleton if there's any oh please burn maybe they'll drop some rotten flesh yes that one died they drop two come to the sun burn and more meat all they gotta do is make a safe way down so let's slow oh okay that's not slow or safe but let's quickly grab all that rotten flesh that they dropped oh yummy yummy now it looks like i haven't showered in like 10 days and now let's try to find some more food in these trees come on leaves i've treated you so nicely all i need is a couple of apples yes i got an apple finally oh yes an apple a day keeps the doctor away let's go over to the woolly mammoth to see if there's any type of food i can pick off of his body hello skeleton let me just uh, sneak right by you oh my god okay and now let's climb up his fat leg I got an amazing view right now of his butt. It doesn't smell that great either. Let's get out of his way. All right, I'm finally on top of the woolly mammoth, and I don't see any food anywhere. Let's grab some soul sand and some wood. Now that I have some resources collected, might as well build a home. And even though I'm in the caveman era, I'm not going to live in a cave. Instead, let's live in a tree. Let's return back to monkey. I think this is a perfect tree to live in. Let's build a little pathway and a little platform to live on. And also build myself a little tree farm on a tree house. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of weird. But now I should be safe from all of those mobs. I didn't even realize, but there's a ton of grass over here. So let's break all this and hope for some seeds. And I'm not really... Oh, never mind. I am pretty lucky. Yes. And I just realized there's no iron ore in this era. So I have to go over to the river to make my farm. Just like the olden days. Let's put down some dirt and plant down my seeds. And now we watch them grow. To speed up the process, I'm going to try to kill some skeletons to make some bone meal. I don't have any armor though, so this is gonna be really hard and really dangerous so oh there's a skeleton right oh there's a creeper too oh no okay oh no please 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 let me live let me live oh no this isn't good oh my god let's kill this guy and it didn't drop a bone it only dropped an arrow bruh ow yeah this is gonna be harder than it looks there's a lot of mobs down there oh a creeper just blew up let's see if any bones dropped all right i'm gonna jump down for the kill yes okay I got four bones. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I made it out alive. Okay, well, let's turn this into bone meal. And now 
I can have some food. That will make me one piece of bread. I'll take it. Ah, yes. And there's rotten flesh as well. Might as well eat that. My tree grew, though, so let's try to get some apples. And there's no luck at all, bruh. I only got one sapling back, too. I mean, at least I got wood. Yay. But there's not much you can do in the caveman era. There's not even any coal ore or iron ore. So the only thing I could do is make my mark on this land before I leave on day 10. So that means taking all of my resources and building a very nice house so the world knows I was civilized and not just the caveman. Let's start constructing. All right, I got an outline carved out, but let's go grab some more wood. All right, I got some more wood and let's continue construction. I'm gonna be the most advanced caveman ever. And my house is complete. An actual house, I don't live in a cave. The only problem is my trees don't really have a place to grow. Let's replant them over here. Why didn't I do this earlier? But we're slowly approaching day 10, which means I will be hopping onto my time travel spaceship and going to a new era. And before I leave this place, I want to collect as many resources as I can. Because maybe in the other area, there isn't any sand or something. So let's grab all this. Let's go check out my farm too. We have one piece grow, but uh, that's not enough to feed my fat belly. I then continued exploring the land all day, trying to find all the resources I can collect before I leave this place. Yo! No way. I just found a diamond block in the middle of this tusk. I don't have any iron to mine it though, so it's gonna have to stay here. That was a nice little Easter egg. I'm gonna mine it with my stone pickaxe anyways. No, I'm just kidding. I can't. That will hurt my heart. I'll come back for you one day. And on day eight, I was getting pretty bored. I didn't know what to do, and there was pretty much nothing to do in this caveman era. But then I had the amazing idea, and this is pretty hilarious. And for this amazing idea, I needed a lot of dirt. So I made some shovels and started mining the dirt. And and let me tell you, I need a lot of it. Like, a lot of it. The sun is setting, though, so let's do this tomorrow. And now, let's start working and building. It has to do something with this giant woolly mammoth. Let's just go right here. You know, it doesn't really matter where I choose. Just I just randomly chose this spot. And let's make a giant circle here out of dirt. Let's make it a little bit taller here. And I am done. <laughs> Was this what you guys were expecting? This is probably the best build I've ever built in Minecraft. Let's just add one more little detail here. Let's build up here and go right between the crack and just line it up with some dirt. And there we go. I built a giant turd behind the woolly mammoth. Yeah, you can probably tell I'm pretty bored. But day 10 is coming. The sun is slowly setting. We are almost there and we will be teleported to a brand new place. Because if you guys didn't know, I am a time traveler. And might as well take the sapling and everything else I can gather before the time comes. Let's head down over to my time travel spaceship and let's go in. I wonder what the next era I will travel to will be. Thank you, caveman era. But it's time to move on to better things. Let's go. Move. And we are here at the Stone Age era, I think. There's a lot of snow over here and giant trees still. But we have landed safely and let's explore. I'm kind of afraid... Oh, there's a creeper right there. But this place is looking a lot better now compared to the caveman era. Oh, wait, I see some teepees over there, some tents and some wheat. Okay, I really need to head over there before I die because this is a super long journey. I don't think I can make it. Ah, uh, yes, finally something that will make me happy. Ah, uh, yes, I've never been so happy in my life. And let's replant all of these seeds because I'll come back here later on for even more food. It might as well expand the farm because there's a bunch of water here. Let's be efficient. And there we go. Now let's go explore these teepees or these tents over here. Oh, yes, finally some warmth. I'm not freezing to death. What? Whoa, look at what is this? Is this a boat? That is pretty crazy. Oh my God, there's even more food. Yes, food for days. Oh, there's a bed in here too. The sun is down, so let's take a little nap. Oh, there's monsters nearby. Who is bothering? Oh, it's of course, it's a creeper. <laughs> Go away. Ah, finally, some rest. Now let's see what's inside this chest. Oh, ooh, some arrows, a bow. Finally, coal, gold, and a name tag. Let's throw some of my valuables in here just to save some room. And let's go check out these other tents. Ooh, some more arrows and more iron. Oh, iron, finally. And a saddle, let's go. But hey, there are villagers now. And this guy's vibing. Looks like you're stuck forever. What's in here? What can I steal from them? More arrows. And yes, more iron and coal. Hold up, is that another TP up there? Hey, 
Hey, this guy must be the rich guy. He's living on top of the mountain. Oh, there's even more. There's even more villages over here. Oh, and there's some animals. And you know what? I'm gonna steal a bed because this guy has too many, I think. Oh, this is so valuable. There's an anvil over here. Let me just uh, look into your chest. Oh my God, that's a lot of coal. Finally. <gasps> no way. I don't have any bones, but I could get a best friend. That's the goal. I gotta kill some skeletons to tame that guy. But while we wait, let's get some more food. Steal from the villagers even more. Let's make some more food and let's finally upgrade my tools. Let's go and make a shield because this would be really helpful. And with the remaining iron, let's make a chest plate. I finally have some armor. And with the gold, let's make some pants. There are a ton of cows over here though. You guys know what that means. Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there are some boats over here too. Maybe there's some treasure down here or something. And nothing so far, but I guess the earth is flat because we could ride a boat right off the edge. <laughs> you know, because the earth is not round because you okay, never mind. But I spent the rest of day 13 just exploring the entire island to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. And since there's so many campfires around here, let's put them to good use and cook up my steaks. I like the medium rare. Oh, there's a skeleton. Okay, please drop me some bones. Come on. Oh, yes. Okay, I got two bones. I need enough to tame that wolf over there. Ooh, I see another skeleton. Yeah. All right, I got nine bones now. And let's try to find that wolf. I'm coming, papi. Okay, I, I should not call him that. Here's some bone. <gasps> First try, baby. Let's name him Miguel. Okay, I'll, I'll feed you a piece of steak. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, yummy, right? And now I have a best friend forever that will last the entire 100 days with me hopefully but since i explored the entire stone age era i spent day 15 just gathering all the resources on this place and i will be building a house on every single place i teleport to just to leave my mark that cookie was here and there's no signs of iron ore in the ground there's only cold ore come on doggy all right we lost him it was nice knowing miguel and now let's start building a house in the stone age era because why not i, got, I gotta put my mark on this world somehow and here's my super ghetto house yeah, i don't have the resources for windows yet and let's build a little shed right beside it out of dirt because you know why not and i'm gonna be honest this little shed looks a little bit better than this house this house is hideous it's like me when i look in the mirror <laughs> and let's stock up on some food before we head over to the next place because we're closing up on day 20 and i have no idea if the next place has any source of food and you know what with all these snowballs let's make a little snow structure let's grab some more snow first all right, I got all my snow blocks and let's think of something to build out. What would be a great thing to build in a snow themed mountain? Bro, what is going on here? We got a parade in this boat. Wait, let me save these guys. Let me save these guys. I don't want them to die. This is this is so funny. Ow. Oh my god, there's so many mobs here. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let me run. All right, I sort of have an idea built out in my head now. Let's head over here where there's a lot of space and let's start constructing. I've never built this before, so uh, this is gonna be kind of weird, but let's build up here and let's build out a long shaft. That wasn't supposed to come out that sus, but it needs to be long. It looks like these three guys are having a pretty fun time on this boat, but let's go take a look at... <laughs> Yo, that's actually really good. Wow, that is amazing. Well, that is my mark, but it's day 20. So let's head over to the time travel spaceship and get out of here before it leaves me behind. And this is everything I'm going to bring with me. I don't think I need anything else from here. I'm back onto the time travel spaceship I go. What should we call this guy? But anyways, let's hop on the commander seat and let's take off to the new world. And we are here. All okay, right, this place is a lot hotter and it looks like we're in a desert. I see a lot of palm trees. Let's go out and see. And now we are in the Egyptian period. And there is a giant pyramid over there with a little village. So let's go check it out. All right. I've never seen a cactus this long before. Is this even possible? That's like seven blocks. Hey, it's a llama. What's up, boy? Uh, don't spit at me. Don't spit at me. Oh, um, ooh, this looks like a blacksmith. What is in here? Oh, that's a giant chair. Who's the fatty that's sitting in here? Nothing in here. Ooh, nice and decorate. Oh, there's some food. Give me that. Give me that. I need the food. Yes, we got even more food. There's some bookshelves too. That's really good. I need books. Oh, this bunny needs to be safe. <gasps> well, let's claim this house as my home since nobody's living in here and this chair is a perfect size for me. And now let's go explore this giant desert pyramid and it looks like the pyramid of Giza, but what's inside these giant doors here? I'm kind <gasps> Oh, what is that? What just happened? What? what? Why did that make me feel so weird? Okay, let's what what is happening over here? What is this? Let me let me mine in here. Is this a trap? Oh my god, good thing I caught that. For some reason I just felt weird stepping on this hold up what happens if you oh no this is not good will i suffocate oh no get me out get me out i literally saw the trap and i landed in the trap no 
Don't mind me. Let me just mine this web with my pickaxe. I'll see you guys in five minutes. All right, I'm finally free. Let's avoid this quicksand. But what's inside here? Oh, diamond blocks. Oh my God. They abducted the villager. That's why nobody was living in that big chair. Surprise attack. Yeah. Oh, my, my axe broke. No. Okay. Just blew up. Um, don't mind me. Let me just sink in here again. All right, let's make a stone axe since I'm poor and don't have iron. But I did see some diamonds and some gold there, but they abducted a villager. There's a lot of diamonds. That can... That can make me a whole set of diamond armor. There's even more villagers. Huh? Is there another one? There's some skeleton heads too. Okay, let's kill these two mobs guarding this place. Ugh. Ah. Ow. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? I just revealed some command blocks. This is a trap. One of these blocks must be a trap. But look at these poor villagers. Uh, maybe they have something good to trade, though. Uh, no, not this guy. And not this guy. Okay, you guys are useless. You guys are staying there. But let's mine these blocks anyways. Diamonds, yes, finally. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, summon the ancient fair. Oh, no. <gasps> that guy's netherite. I fell into a trap. I'm leaving. Let's take these diamond blocks and turn it into armor and some better tools to go fight the boss. All right, here we go. We are loaded in diamond armor. Let's go save those villagers. Hello, good sir. <gasps> There's two. They're, oh, my God. There's two now. Let's just shoot these. Ow. They have thorns. <gasps> okay. Oh, they see me. I'm sorry. Let's block it off here. Okay, hello, sir. Let me just uh kill you here. Yeah, you guys see that? You guys see what I did to your servant? That's going to be you guys next. Okay, I think he's doing more damage to me with his thorns than I'm doing damage to him. So I might just have to go in gun blazing. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's block myself in here. Please don't come up. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh. Good thing they don't have any bow and arrows. Okay, let's kill them. Ugh. All right, there goes all of the servants. And now we're left of two bosses with netherite armor and dual wielded swords. They can't touch me, with the, but the thorns can. How much health do they have? Oh, I killed one. He didn't drop anything, though. Yes, and he dropped coal. But we finally got all the bosses killed. And I guess this is the tombstone. If I break this, will I get a bad spirit? Oh, they shouldn't be doing this. And no, I actually don't. And let's take the rest of the loot. All right, but now let's spend some time to explore this entire island. And there are some amethyst shards here, so let's steal that. Maybe there's something on top of this giant pyramid as well. And there's nothing. Is there anything in the middle? There has to be, right? And it doesn't seem like it. And there is this cat-looking thing over here. I think it's called a pharaoh? I have no idea. Let's break right into the butt cheeks and there's nothing and everything else around it there was nothing else to find and you know what i just realized i left these villagers hanging here let me let me save you guys cut the chain loose and you're still there all right never mind i guess he wants to stay there you do you brother but anyways i just realized this is the observer that controls the spawning of the bosses so if i make a little contraption and turn it into a farm what if i can get full netherite armor by killing them constantly and i can get xp as well let me do that i need some iron for some buckets though which i don't have so let's go mining really quickly oh i ran right into iron nice exactly what I oh and into a cave hello i then spent the rest of day 25 exploring the caves and finding as much resources as i can can. I got a bunch of resources for mining and let's use these furnaces to smelt up my iron. By the way, let's collect some sand because I need this for some glass. I might have smelted up too much glass. All right, let's grab this lava since I need it and some water. I don't know why I just turned British. And let's start building this little grinder. Let's clear the area first. All right, here we go. And now I'm pretty sure they spawn in this area. Oh, what the? Well, let's put down some water buckets here. So when they do spawn, they will be dragged into this area. Make a little trench. And let's put some water over here. Let's now put some signs right here to separate the water. And now they will fall right into the middle down here. Let's put some signs around here. And throw a lava bucket right in the middle. <laughs> Okay, there we go. But since the wither skeletons are three blocks high, they should be able to burn in here. And now all we gotta do is make a little glass viewing area so they can't see us and attack us. Before we do anything else, let's make a couple of hoppers and slap them down right here into this chest. And there we go. Hopefully that works. Now for the moment of truth, let's place a block on top of this observer. It should spawn. Oh, yes. Okay, we got the area carved out perfectly. And they... Oh, no! The withers... They must have fire protection. No! All right, let's kill these skeletons off first. And let's kill these wither skeletons now. It takes literally forever to kill these things. Maybe if I can crush him. Let's take some sand here. All right, let's try to get him right into this spot right here. And now, what if I just put sand above him like this? And I break this, will he die? Yes! We're suffocating him. All right. The wither skeleton died and he left me with coal. I guess he doesn't drop his netherite armor, which kind of sucks. But you know what? Let's just spam this because, you know, might as well. Let's just spam. 
a whole bunch of mobs. Look at the army of skeletons coming out. Holy cow. All right. They oh, my God. They can come out. They can leave. They can leave. <laughs> barricade off. Barricade off. Barricade off. I did not cover it up by accident. Let's at least try to get a wither skeleton head. And the only thing I got from killing all of those wither skeletons was pants. And there's protection. Six. No wonder it can't kill them. And thorns three with low durability. Hey, I'll put the pants on, though. I'm happy with that. And let's just spawn even more. Why not? And let's leave. You guys have fun in there. And let's uh, barricade this off because I don't want to see this anymore. We're slowly coming up to day 30, though. And I still need to make a little structure to show that I've been here to leave my mark. All right, I got a whole bunch of sandstone here. And I have a pretty cool idea. Let's build a upside down pyramid. And I want to make it super high up. And bam, we are done. The upside down pyramid. All right, I got everything I need. And let's head over to the spaceship. Let's sit down and off we go. I'm traveling further into the future. And we have landed okay i see a little windmill thing it looks really nice with a lot of wheat let's see okay what <gasps> Is that a dragon? I think we're somewhere in the medieval period. There's some people guarding that little outpost over there. There must have some valuable stuff there. We're gonna have to explore that castle in a bit. I'm sorry for invading your land. Ooh, emerald though. Oh, there's two more. Okay, let's quickly eliminate these two guys. Ugh, ugh. Oh, there's so many around here. All right, let's go into this house. What is in here? Ooh, what? Oh my God. Is that a sword? That is sick. Oh my God. There's four up here. Oh, oh. All right, and I think I killed them all. Oh, Oh, they broke my pants. And I spent the rest of day 32 exploring all of the houses. That was a pretty cool village, but I can't set home here because there's way too many illagers and mobs over here. So let's head over to this farm, which is more suitable for me because, you know, food. Oh, yeah. I can smell how delicious this is. A whole bunch of... Oh, come on. Please just let me live. No. They're chasing me down. All right, fine. I'm going in. Yeah, what's up, boy? I'm gonna take over your house. All right, let's see what's in here. A whole bunch of wheat and, ooh, pumpkins. All right, I can set home right here because it's surrounded by food. I then spent the rest of the day harvesting all of this wheat for food because this could last me the entire video and it just made me happy anyways. Ah, oh, yes, I am literally never running out of food. Now I think it's finally time to go explore this crazy castle. Let's break right into here, and there's a lot of bookshelves. I guess I'm digging right into a giant library, and oh my god, I am. I'm expecting something crazy to jump out at me and attack me, but I guess there's nothing. Oh, never mind, I spoke too soon. <gasps> Where did that come from? Look at this guy hiding. Oh, this is not good, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, this isn't good. This is not good. Go, 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 go. Eat, go run. <laughs> okay, let's take a little breather. I really need to kill him, though. Where is he at? Oh, he's over there. All right, let's keep hitting him. How much health does this boy have? Oh, what is that? I've never seen that before. What just happened? H how many arrows can this guy take? Oh, I'm out of arrows. I literally shot like 30 arrows in his head. All right, let's go in with my axe. He has to die. Oh, I'm out. Peace out, peace out. It was nice knowing you. Yeah, that guy, is, that guy will not die. You know what? Let's... Let's head over to another part of the castle. All right, finally made it over to this side, and the dragon looks insane from here. You can see his claws at the bottom. But let's start off by entering the castle from this big watchtower-looking thing. Okay, um, there's nothing in this side. Gotta go a little bit higher. Potions, nothing in here. Ooh, what is this? Potion of healing. All right, let's head into the main portion of the castle. Let's see what kind of valuable stuff I can find. There's a lot of bookshelves. I'll take some of these. All right, I'm guessing this is the main entrance. There's an iron door right here that doesn't have any buttons, so I guess I'll just break right by it. And there's the throne. Is this throne for me to sit on? It probably probably is let me let me let me take a seat right here ah the cookie god's throne nice and up here is just creepers oh there's a little door right here let me just sneak by you here okay and this leads me right into this giant bridge oh god this whole place is burning down and right back into the library with the scary guy yeah i don't really want to go down there but i will anyways i'm coming for you oh what if i just trap him in ha <laughs> loser look at him Oh, and now let's go explore this dragon. There has to be something special in here, right? It does look amazing, though. If only I could build like that. Maybe one day in my hardcore series, I'll build something like this. But let's go up there and let's go. I'm on him. I'm on his nose right now. It's kind of scary. Let's jump into his mouth. Let's uh, jump right down here. Ugh. And this guy really needs some floss. But let's spend some time mining into his head and into his body to see if there's anything special hidden in here. All right, I dug right through his neck and there's nothing. But I'll collect some black stone so I could build my little structure. 
to leave my mark on this world. And let's also collect some red nether brick. I'm thinking about building a small little dragon head as my little monument. And I'm going to use my red nether bricks for this. So let's build it up here somewhere. This will be the mouth. Let's bring it up here. And this will be the top of the mouth. And there's the head. <laughs> You can't even tell those are the eyes, but I don't know how to make a dragon head. And let's make it a little cool body. Some arms. And there we go. There's my dragon with a stick man figure body. And do I even need to build a house? Like, come on. This house is so nice. Yo, they got just invaded my home. Get out. And you know what? Since I have so much black stone, I might as well build something with it. And there we go. I made a subscribe sign because you guys should subscribe. And we're now approaching day 40 soon. So I'm going to do one last look around this village and one last run around in the castle to make sure I have all the resources I need before I move on to the next world. I might as well take the food. Wait, actually, no. I don't need the food. Oh, th this is a wither rose. Is that a hamburger? That looks like a hamburger to me. That makes me kind of hungry. Now let's do a last run through the castle. Ooh, might as well take the ender chest for the obsidian. Oh my word. I forgot there's an enchantment table right there. I didn't even see it. Was this always obsidian or am I tripping? I think I'm, I think I'm tripping. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna spend some time mining for some iron because I literally have none. I have more diamonds than iron. Ah, creeper! Oh my god. All right, let's mine all this iron. And we are back with over a stack of iron. So we're approaching day 40 now. Let's grab all of the stuff I want to bring with me. Got all of my food, and that will make me happy. And I'm really wondering what all the other phases will be. Let's hop back on my time travel spaceship, and let's head off to a new dimension. And we have landed. Okay, where am I? Oh, there's a lot of brick buildings over here. All right, it looks like we're kind of in the industrial period. Is there anything special in these containers? Maybe there are, oh, maybe there are some cool things in here, and, and it doesn't seem like it. Since these are factories, there should be a lot of stuff in here, right? All right, this factory is completely empty. Nice. There's literally nothing in here. Is there anything underground? Oh, oh, I actually ran into something. I was not expecting that. Okay, what is this? There's a lot of glowstone, though, so I'll take it. I mean, I would love to build with some glowstone. And since the floor is made out of smooth stone as well, I'm going to collect this. Yo, look at all those iron blocks on this crane. I didn't have to go mining in the medieval period. Okay, let's build up here and steal all this. And let's see if there's anything cool in these giant smokestacks. It looks like they barred off the door. So I'll just monkey mode it and climb above this fence. And let's see what's in here. Hopefully I don't blow up. And nice. There's literally nothing. Amazing. Oh, there's some fire over here. Yup, that's where all the smoke's coming from. How about over here? Ooh, some spiders. And what building is this? Oh, this is the smokestack building and there's nothing in it it doesn't seem like there's a lot of resources i can get i guess everybody has moved out hopefully that giant building up there on the top of the mountain has some valuable stuff okay this building is giant please tell me there's something good in here where's the entrance ah uh, why, why am i looking for an entrance i got a pickaxe all right we are in and still a lot of iron blocks i guess that's the theme hole this is all iron blocks okay what are these giant pods let's see what's in them some water let's eat in there hopefully it's not acid let's get out of here it kind of scares me all right now there's a rocket ship in here let's see what's in it and nothing oh oh, 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 oh. i turned into a monkey but there there this is literally the only valuable thing here there's a beacon okay i'm snatching this all right it was worth it add some tnt if you guys watch my hardcore series you guys know i love tnt and right here's a door into nothing Ooh, there's an upstairs layer though let's head upstairs and see and there's nothing up here just a little lounge area oh whoa, yes there's even more beacons oh there's a lot of sticky pistons too i'll take those bro there's literally bedrock in here i should build something around this bedrock to leave my mark on the industrial period but that's sick what is over here what what is this place oh it looks like they're creating energy or something in here there's a lot of gold blocks though i'll snatch that let me just blow this creeper up bow and we have a flood and i think i explored the entire factory well that is everything inside and let's settle down a little bit let's build myself a little home right here on this big empty flat of land and I think it'd be a great idea to live in a giant smokestack like that. And what better material to build it other than iron blocks? And there's my circle, but I need a lot more iron blocks. Luckily, I have an endless supply of iron over here, so might as well get mining. Okay, I think I just got enough iron blocks to activate my beacon for haste too. And now if I get enough levels, I could get efficiency four and mining all this iron would be no problem. And level 30. And now let's pray for efficiency four. I'm breaking three. Come on, please, please. 
please, 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 please. Yes. Let's build a fat beacon right in the middle over here. Slap her down. I got, I got to make a hole in the ceiling. And let's get haste two running. And let's start from the top and mine all the way down. This is going to take a pretty long time. All right. I got a bunch of iron blocks now. And now let's start working on this giant smokestack. I might have made it a little too big, but what can you do? Let's keep building. It doesn't look like a smokestack yet, but I'm slowly running out iron blocks. So I'm going to go back into the giant factory and steal some more. We And here we go. Here is my smokestack home. Let's build a little door. And we have a little home that has a zombie in it. Please go away. But now I have to build something special. I have an idea to turn this little area with the bedrock into something cool right here. First off, let's clear the area by, you know, putting down some TNT, my favorite block. And there we go. Okay, we need to put some more TNT down. All right, now that we have the bedrock isolated, let's build something around here. All right, I fixed up the floor, and all I'm going to do is probably just surround it with, like, gold blocks or something. Like, make a little wall of gold blocks to make it look super special. And that's about it. I don't really know what else to do with this bedrock. I just want to make it look pretty. Let's put some glowstone. And there we go. That's as special as it will get. The holy bedrock. And this place is looking pretty lifeless. We're just pumping carbon dioxide into the air. We have to save the planet. Team Trees, everybody. Let's plant a whole bunch of moss blocks all over this concrete. And let's bone meal it all up. And hopefully all of these trees can suck up all the carbon dioxide from the air. And there we go. We turned the industrial world into a nice luscious forest of azalea trees. But we're on day 49, approaching day 50. Draw some guesses for the next word I'm going to be going to. All right, I got everything. Let's head into my spaceship and let's head off. Oh, <gasps> beacon, beacon. I need to get the beacon back. I almost forgot about you. And you know what? Since nobody's watching, let's just take these gold blocks back. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to leave it there. But let's head out. Oh, the sun's setting. Okay, I can't miss my flight. Let's go. And yeah into the new world and we have landed all right i'm not sure where we are i see little rusted vehicles over there it looks like little jeeps let's see oh it's kind of rusty or oh, is that a tank okay it looks like we're in a battlefield there's a lot of jeeps and cars here looks like a missile gone through right here in the middle oh there's another portal i could go to the nether oh my god it looks like we're being invaded there's somebody alive hello sir are you, are you friendly oh i don't think it's friendly okay i'm gonna kill him oh but oh my god there's nukes being dropped from the air and fire everywhere this is crazy what's in here oh more tnt now what's in this bunker over here Ooh, some leaves and right out here is a bunker where you look right out oh boy there's a map right here you can see the entire battlefield oh this is gonna be fun to explore oh a diamond sword well it's time to head down to the battlefield hopefully i don't die oh we're in the trenches now but these bunkers look so mean now is there anything valuable down here probably not what's in this tank over here can i hop in Ooh, oh a notch apple sick and some popeyes oh wait that's a rabbit never mind let's go check out those boats it doesn't seem to have anything on this one. Oh, there's a barrel notch apple no food though and i'm gonna set my home right here where the commander lives and i didn't bring a bed oh my there's no way oh wait there's a whole bunch of bunk beds over there in the other bunker ah uh, yes let's steal somebody's bed there's one place i haven't explored yet on this battlefield and it's those planes up there first off let's collect some blocks to build up and we're finally up here i'm not sure how this plane is flying it's literally rusted and there's nothing there's nothing in here there's a block of copper though i mean i'll take it <laughs> It was something. <laughs> okay, maybe these other planes have something. Let's quickly bridge over there. And yeet. Oh. 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 That was probably the riskiest thing I've ever done. Is there anything in here? No, nothing. Wow. How about over here? Oh, there's a barrel. Oh, there better be something valuable in this barrel to make it worth it. Yes. Yes. TNT and a diamond chest plate. Yes, I'm going to replace that. But let's jump down, YOLO. Oh, yeah. But with all this TNT, it's only fair to make a TNT cannon to help out with this crazy war. Let's make a little opening in the bunker. Let's put TNT down like this and one over here. Let's line up some redstone here. And I have no idea if this is going to work, but you never know until you try. So let's light it up. And then this one. And let's run. Okay. Where'd he go? I guess it didn't work. Let me let me try again. All right, let's see. Oh, it worked. Yes. Light it up. Run. Pew. And there we go. Oh, TNT is so much fun to play with. Oh, no. I kind of messed it up. Oh, that one shot right down. Almost hit the bunker. All right, one last one. Woohoo, that one went the furthest. Now I kind of want to make a TNT bomber from the sky. So let's build up to these planes again. Let's put redstone all up here and line it up with TNT on the nose of this plane. And we're about to drop some buckets down. Put some redstone torch and bombs away. Let's go. That is so sick. Let's set off even more TNT now. Light it up. Oh, 
That is a lot of TNT. And boom. Oh, that is a big hole. And I just remembered the nether portal is here. So let's head over to the nether and see what I can grab. And I only have four days to grab everything I can. Ooh, I do see a bastion right over there. And this bastion looks like a housing bastion, but let's go anyways. All right, we're in. There should be a chest down there. And there is. Let's just do a quick James Bond. Oh, okay. I'm not wearing any gold too, which is a pretty big mistake. But you know what? Let's go anyways. Let's grab everything I can. Iron blocks. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. I just saved myself from dying. And I also got a golden chest plate. And this will prevent the piglins from attacking me. So let's go back in and try to find some more chests. The chest right here. Ooh la la. Give me that. Ooh, another chest. Ooh, another ice scrap. Let's go. And that seems about everything in this bastion. Actually, there's one thing I need from this bastion, which is blackstone. To leave my mark on the world war map. And I need some quartz as well. Let's build a giant tank now to fight against those poopy tanks over there. Let's build some giant wheels. And now let's build the actual tank and there's my giant tank it doesn't look that great but it's definitely bigger than that one and cleaner and more modern it's all rotten looking and moldy but my time has come please tell me somebody knows that reference and let's go off to the new land <laughs> All right, we landed in a wheat field. That's one chubby fox. Okay, what is this place? I have no... There's there's modern cars and a semi-truck over there. So it's looking a little bit more present time. Oh, there's a dog house. Okay, Max. These houses are pretty modern. Oh, look at this computer. That's sick. Oh, I just, I just broke it. I'm, I'm sorry. Yo, there's a zombie spawn egg in here and a bunch of cookies. Whoa. Look at this. I just ran into some ancient debris just chilling in this chimney. There's a notch apple on the dinner table. There's another one up there as well. Oh my God. There's a lot of girlfriends over here. What's in here? This giant sill. Ooh, I'll take potion of strength. I wonder if there's anything valuable in these vehicles. Break right in. And no. Oh, that looks like a gas station. Let's rob it. Ooh, next up, there's a police car that's super detailed. And the chicken's crossing the road. Okay. NYPD. Looks like we're in New York. And here we have a diner. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of villagers sitting around. No way. I thought we were in an abandoned city. What's in here? Ooh, the frozen section. Oh, axolotl. And the last building here is the red rocket. And there's actually a rocket on top of this gas station. That's actually really cool. This is a really nice gas station, though. It's like a retro themed. Let's head on in and see if there's anything valuable. A whole bunch of barrels of nothing. A barrel inside a barrel. Inception. And if you head on this way, oh, this is a mechanic shop. And for some reason, there's diamonds here. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, the diamonds scattered all along here. What? My guess is we're in the present time. Oh, there's a hot dog stand. And nobody's working. I guess I'll steal some hot dogs. Haha. <laughs> I have a hot dog head now. And what is this over here? It's telling me to sit on the mechanical pony and put a diamond in the chest. All right. It just took the diamond. What's going to happen here? Yo, it's a working little machine. There's even a little song that's playing. That's sick. Listen. <laughs> that's awesome but let's find a place to settle down now and actually you know what i really like this spot there's some nice music there's some free hot dogs and now let's make a little pond for my axolotl to live in let's take my shovel and carve out a little thing right oh oh here here's the redstone for the little machine okay never mind i won't make it over here Bruh. there's literally a giant pond right Man, get your bum in the water. But look at him swim. It's a pink one. Let's name it Cotton Candy. Enjoy. Please don't die because I'm going to take you along all the way to day 100 with me. Speaking about day 100, where did my dog go? My boy Alfredo. Wait, no, that wasn't his name. Miguel. Rest in peace, Miguel, in the comments. And since there's this giant wheat farm over here, might as well harvest it and make some more bread for food. And there we go. I harvested the entire farm and uh, like yeah there's a lot of wheat gotta collect this bread you know what i mean <laughs> oh my god there's another field over here on this other side <laughs> And I just realized there's so many cute heads around this entire map. So I'm going to run around everywhere collecting all of these heads and making a giant wall of all of these heads. I think it would be hilarious. Like they're everywhere. Even these little side mirrors are heads. The police car has heads on them. There's a little raccoon on top of this dumpster. Yo, there's flying bees over here too. That's sick. Some logs. Like, there's heads everywhere. So I'll see you guys when I collected all of the heads around this entire map. And these are all the heads I collected. There's a bunch of different kinds. What's that? Cookie dough? This is cookie dough. Let me see this. Oh. But now let's do something super creative with these heads. I'm going to collect all of the different foods. And now let's build a giant table across this road and just fill it up with all this food. Oh, yeah. I'll see you guys in like 20 days. I'm going to be munching. And there's all the drinks. We're going to have a party here. Who wants to come to the party? There's food for everybody unless i eat it all and now let's make a crowd full of bees 
some plushies, and random animals. And now we have the whole crowd. Some bees. I'm not sure what that is. Some ducks, some frogs, and everybody watching me eat. We still have some little heads left, but uh, these are useless. So I'm just going to slap them all along the road, and they could get run over by a car. They might have feelings, but I'm sorry. Come on, I have 11 lampshades. Like, this, this can't have feelings, right? But now we're on day 69. <laughs> Funny number. The best number around. And now let's make a final run around to make sure I haven't forgot anything. And there's some bears up there I forgot. All right, but maybe there's some good loot around, like diamonds. I'll take those. Maybe some blaze rods. Like, yeah, let's do one final and last raid. I found some more diamonds, some ancient debris, and some anvils and stuff. But let's start packing up before this plane leaves me. <laughs> Gotta make sure to bring all this. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to go. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh. I can't forget my boy, Cotton Candy. Come here. I'm gonna take you with me. Yeet. I got my best friend with me, and let's go head over to the next world. I wonder what's gonna be after the present. Let's see. Yeet. And we have made it. Okay. Whoa. What is it? Wait. That building's on fire. What is it? Okay. It looks like there's a lot of city buildings. Oh my God. What is happening? Well, it looks like we're in a apocalypse or some type of end of the world map. Let's make our safe way down. There's a ladder right here. Let's Spider-Man down here. Ah, my legs. And it looks like this entire world has gone down in flames. What is in here? Oh, this must have been a store. It's totally abandoned though. No. Who did this to you? Okay. Let's uh, forget about him. And this giant building over here is barricaded off and this giant brown building is leaning onto it i kind of landed my plane uh pretty tightly into this building though oh is that an alien ship what is that there's so much to explore around here yo i just found a broken down alien ship what's in here there has to be something special right come on there has to be like some crazy alien loot and there's nothing nice okay and for some reason this police car crashed right into this building this is like an aquarium my axolotl could live in here okay let's put him in and let's trap him in so he doesn't drown out i'll come back for you on day 80 oh there's some elevators okay let's go up looks like it used to be a home that was inhabited now is empty and over here is in a hotel it doesn't seem like there's an entrance anywhere let's put all my stuff down in this car this will be my home for now all right let's continue exploring this crazy place because there's a lot to explore looks like it used to be a bar any drinks left because i need one and no hold on what is this there's a sewage down here okay let's jump down i gotta be really careful though maybe something will pop Oh, like an alien. Okay, this is... Oh, my God. Okay, we're in a really moldy sewer right now. Let's see if there's anything special in here. Okay, there's a chest right here. A lost book. All right, it's just a little lullaby. How about down this cave? I might be running into a trap right here. And, yep, it just goes right off the void. Let's see if there's anything on top of this high rise. Ooh, a ton of iron blocks. Okay, let's do a little bit of tightrope here. And nothing too fancy yet. What's in here? But there's a lot of lodestones over here, so I'm gonna grab them. They are super fancy and let's steal all these iron blocks so i can build a beacon or something let's jump down over here Ugh. okay i'm on the fallen building hopefully it's stable enough to hold my weight because you know i could probably tip this whole thing over with how big i am but let's see what's in here this is pretty crazy nothing special though the alien ship is right here though shooting like laser beams at these buildings there's another fallen building i didn't even realize oh my god there's a bunch of anvils there we should probably go there and snatch it but let's go take down this alien ship let's bridge up here and we're gonna take him down by hand Hulk style. Yeet! Ugh. Break everything. Break down the engine so they can't fly anymore. And break the little shooters. And let's jump on these beams. This is so scary. I don't have a water bucket, so I'm risking my whole video. Okay, but now let's head over to that building. The other alien ship's down here. Let's break this one, too. Da -da 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 -da. Hulk style. Ugh. And break it apart. Thanos must have sent them. All right, finally up here. And oh, that would have been deadly. There's a bunch of anvils here, so let's steal it all. Trust me, I'm a good person. And a bunch of redstone lamps. Might as well take this as well. And now I want to bring back some life to this world. Let's do the same exact thing that I did in the industrial period over here. Hey, there we go. We added some trees and added some more life and greenery to this place. It feels like I'm walking in the scene of like I Am Legend. You guys ever watched that movie? But now let's use my iron blocks and my lodestone to make a little memorial site to remember this city before it gets overtaken by nature. So let's make a little center area and a little ring right in the middle here. And here we go. We got the town hall center thing. I don't know what to call it, but let's put some special things in the middle of here to remember what the city used to be so let's go around searching for some cool stuff all right here we go we got some food displayed a really old computer for memory some blood to show the loss around here some beer and a book a special one and We'll mark it with some blood on the floor. And this is all for memory of the city. However, we're finally on day 79, which means we're leaving tomorrow. So let's take a last run around to make sure I got everything I need. I can't forget my axolotl. Where did I put him? All right, I'm here to get you, Con. Can't 
Oh, oh, I thought he died. Okay, he's up there. Come with me. I think I collected everything, so let's grab all my stuff. Up the ladder we go. Goodbye, abandoned city. Anyways, let's head on to the ship and let's head out. The next spot after this one's gonna be crazy. All right, let's go. Yeah, I All I see are stars and the night. Where am I? Oh my God, what... Are we in space? How am I even breathing? Okay, I guess it looks like we're on some type of UFO or space station. Let's head on inside and see what's in here. There's a lot of rock hopper around on the floor. Oh, what, what is this? Why is it so dark? There's, oh, oh, ow. Okay, why is it so dark in here? Let's get a light going. What block is this? Black concrete. Well, <laughs> that's pretty black. All right, but we're inside now. And wow, this place is looking pretty insane. What, what are these portals? Gateway to World War II. Oh, that was World War II. Hold up, hold up. What is this? Industrial Revolution. Gateway to the medieval period. It looks like these... It looks like this spaceship can time travel. That's insane. So if I ever need to go back and collect some resources, I always can. And what is... Oh, gateway to the end. Um, okay. Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh, I totally forgot to bring my wood. Okay. I could compensate though. I could use my moss blocks. And if I'm lucky, I could get an azalea tree. Oh, there we go. And let's grow this. Oh, there we go. We got wood. Okay. I need a lot of wood to make my house in this space station so you guys know what let's go back to the stone age Whee! and we have traveled back in time you guys remember seeing this it's pretty crazy how far we've came but there's a lot of giant trees over here so let's start mining and we are back with a bunch of wood now let's start building a little home in here i have no idea where we're gonna build it there's not a lot of space in this space station and there we go i'm finally done it doesn't really fit the space theme but like we gotta bring some life into here it's too gray and boring we gotta add some wood and now let's put a little chest room in there and we should be set next objective is to give cotton candy my axolotl a home in space let's make a bunch of buckets and let's head over to a dimension that has some water in it which one has water let's go back to the caveman era oh man it felt like forever ago since i was here let's go check out my treehouse hey still intact this is where everything started the vines got a lot longer though definitely but let's jump down here oh. Jump the oh, I missed. Oh, let's yoink all of this water. Snatch the snatch. Oh, let's go check out my wheat farm. It's grown a little bit. I mean, that's something, but I don't need this anymore. Bruh, look at this. Who did this to him? And now let's mine out a little pond area for the axolotl to live in. This is a pretty good size. And now let's get some sand in here. Now, which one of these destinations has some sand? Oh, yeah, obviously the Egyptian one. Let's go. And now let's collect some sand. My upside down pyramid is still here. And let's go check out my grinder. If you guys remember this, let's see if it still works. Hello, anything here? No. My boy villager is still hanging here. And let's see them. I do not want to deal with these guys. Oh, they escaped. I forgot. Go, go, go. Oh, and here was my home. Let's see if there's anything I left behind. Maybe it would be helpful. Some sandstone, some more glass. That would be helpful. And now let's head back. Now let's put down the sand and the sandstone. And now let's slide down the water for the axolotl to swim in. And here you go, cotton candy. You have a new home. Hope you you enjoy Whee. i think it's time to get prepared to fight the ender dragon though i need to start enchanting my armor as well as get a pretty good bow let's slap my enchantment table down and let's enchant the sword to try to get looting three and no hey this will do now i need some xp i remember in the caveman era there was a lot of mobs oh yeah here we go let's get myself some xp yo there's a zombie in the poo i made yo, he's stuck in the woolly mammoth's poo must be yummy in there well i'm kind of standing on it so that's kind of disgusting thing as well and that's for a bunch of grinding i got everything enchanted oh i forgot about my bow where'd it go bruh and i threw away all the mob loot well time to go back i need some string for a new bow and now let's collect some arrows and this is what i got i'm breaking power four and punch two that's pretty good now i should be ready to defeat the ender dragon it should be really quick i'm gonna bring my notch apples just in case and i'm also gonna bring my strength two potion because this will make killing the dragon super easy now let's go into the little portal the gateway to the end hopefully I don't die from that fall let's make sure i have a water bucket ready and let's jump down we are here let's bridge over to the island and ye ah! Ah! all right let's start shooting these bad boys you guys know the drill let's get these ones that are in the cage pew oh that was a terrible shot all right time to start shooting the ender dragon my aim is so bad all right, he's coming down let's pot up my strength two potion take out my axe and this guy's gonna feel my power I'm gonna feel his power. <laughs> okay, he's coming back down. I still have my strength two potion. Let's head over right underneath him and let's slap his head. Oh! Yeet. 
All right, it's coming back down. I have 17 seconds left on my strength two. Come on, let's do a bunch of damage to it. Oh my God. Jeez, okay. This guy's feisty. Should be a one more shot and he's dead. Woohoo! Free the end. Oh, I looked at all of these guys by accident. Oh my God, these guys are wombo combo. Oh, 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 oh. They always knocking me right into the portal. I can't leave without my baby. And there we go. Snatch that. Yeet. And now let's build a special home for this dragon egg. Let's turn all these diamonds and diamond blocks and build it somewhere over here. And there we go. Super fancy for the dragon egg. Imagine if I right click it. Ah! But now we're back into the end and I want to build a little end house or a little thing to show that I was here because that's been a tradition this entire video. So I have to make my mark on the end as well. All right. And there we go. A bunch of end stone. Let's start building this castle and it's going to be centered right in the middle of this end portal. I'm just going to cover it up. And there we go. There's my castle. I totally didn't finish the inside. I mean, it's pretty uh, empty. There's not even other walls, but there's my castle in the end. It's good enough for me. But there we have it. 100 days as a time traveler i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later